confused when it comes to combining fabric designs. Here with some tips to get the perfect pattern pairings, designer Jennifer Reed joins us now. Thank you, Claire. Hi, my love. So we have so many great fabrics today from Tonic Living, and I really Beautiful. thought that we would just play, mix and match, see how you do trying to coordinate these fabrics. Okay. We've got some stripes, we have some geometrics, yeah. we have some florals. So with no rules and no guidelines, no guidelines. I want you to choose three of these fabrics <laughs> that you think okay. coordinate and put them up on the wall. Okay, no rules. I've made it pretty easy. The general palette works. You have. So the thing is, I mean, this is sort of like um, picking, like I let my kids dress themselves, but I try and just get them all good wardrobe pieces, so it always works. It's like so not you're leaving kind of, summer clothes out in the winter. Yeah. Put away what really doesn't work. That's right. <laughs> yes. So you've kind of done that it. for me. Can I, should I put it in the middle one here? Perfect. So I'll do, actually, I want the solid color in the middle. Good idea. Visually oh, appealing. Why, thank you. I'll put this up here. I did something right, guys. Okay, and good then, start, good start. Last then, one, one then, more. I don't one know. More. I'm, I just want to be safe, but I'm gonna try not to be safe. So, what do you guys think? Yes or no? no. no. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yes or no? Yes. Can I? Can I? Can I? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Okay, that's not a bad start. Here's right. what you've got. So Geometric, you've yeah, got a this. solid that. that grounds it. That definitely works. Yeah. This one is a little out of left field, but I kind of like it. It's a llama <laughs> or a camel. It, it, kids' room, that could actually be kind of fun. Okay. okay, that's true. So let's go through a few rules to let's help you. Let's okay. see if we can't make this a little bit easier. Okay. So in general, it's best to stick to three patterns. So maybe you'll have a floral. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can pair that with a stripe, mm -hmm. right? And then you could throw in a geometric. Okay. Okay. Right. So I think sticking to three generally makes it pretty easy. Okay. Okay. Then we try and coordinate by color. That's right. a no-brainer, right? I don't think you'd want to do, you know, that floral with, let's say, that one. Doesn't right. really work, right? Although Too I was much totally going gonna on. Do that. <laughs> yes, that's so wrong. Okay, oh. and then Gross. varying by scale. Yes. So you don't want to have two fabrics that are the exact same scale. You might want one that's bigger and one that's smaller. smaller. Right? Okay. okay. All right. Sort of like doing two stripes. Yeah. Even though these are different scale, they kind of fight one another. It's just a bit busy. I agree. Right? Okay. okay. If you were to switch this one up, Jen, what would you do? Okay, so if I were to switch this one up, Or what would you take out of this and put in instead? Well, you could go kind of wild. Okay. And throw in a really fun oh, stripe. Oh, see, that's nice. It's yeah, that's just, nice. again, a bit unexpected. Picks up some of the black from the llama. Right. But I might actually ditch that one, too. Okay. <laughs> see, I like that even better. Yeah. That is a really cute pairing for a little girl's room. That's good. Right? Fun, easy. Yes reads really well. Yeah, I love okay. that. And okay. then our rule that you almost broke was florals. <laughs> Always good to stick to one floral. We don't right. need more than one, so pick the one you love best yes. and start with that. Okay. So let's say we love this, because this is gorgeous. Who, yeah. does, who wouldn't love that one? Would you put this what with What would it? you do? A hundred, way to go. Okay. Love that. A hundred percent. I feel encouraged now. And okay. then it's either going to be this solid or this one. I kind of agree with you. I yeah. think I'd go with the pink. Yeah, that's better. That's right? Good. And then when you're sourcing fabrics, the other thing to keep in mind, look how many I have. Yeah. Go get a ton of samples, bring them home and play. Don't go buy three cushions, get home and be like, oh, that one doesn't really work. I, I don't know, like right? that one. Yeah. So much better to buy more, okay. figure it out, play a little bit, move stuff around and yes. try again. Same okay. goes with fabric samples if you're gonna do them custom. Okay, okay, well let's use one of these stripe examples and show me how you would do, like what would you do? Actually, why don't we use this? Why don't we, what would you do with that guy? Oh gosh. Okay, you're testing me now, are I you? know, because it's actually it's actually very pleasing for the eye to see them all together, and you picked all great fat. That's beautiful, right? Yeah, you make so it look so easy. This picks up on the warmth. This picks up on our blue. Again, yes. we have a solid. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go a little crazy on you. Do it. I'm gonna do a grouping of four for the fun of it. Let's okay. see what we can't do with. four. Four of these. We're gonna go with that guy. We're gonna do a floral. And we're gonna keep that guy. We're gonna do. What do you call this? Geometric. Um, what do you call that? <laughs> just pattern. Yeah, it's kind of a geometric. Floral, a pattern, it has a, a bit stripe. of a right. No, I'm not loving that. People. No, she doesn't like that. People. No. 
I do. Straight. That's kind of fun. That's nice. And then a solid. Or are you going to really blow my mind no, here? No, I was going to, and then I thought, no, it's too much. <laughs> You know what? Mixing and matching can really be fun. Have fun. If you yes. love something, you love it. If yes. it breaks a rule, it breaks a rule. There really aren't hard and fast rules when it comes to this. I would just say try and remember the general stick with color. Don't yeah. do two geometrics and don't do two florals. And I don't think you can go too wrong. That's right. And think about scale. Yeah, absolutely. And it's exactly as you say, get a whole bunch so that you can start to edit and play and, and yeah. mix and match and do that sort of thing. Because that's what a good designer does. That's and what I you guys do. Once you find that one fabric, oh, I didn't use this poor guy. Once you find that Want one to? fabric that you love, yeah. then it's so much easier to sort of build around it, right? Right. And I think you could really even and have a bit of fun and go one. I know I'm saying that don't no, do totally two you geometrics, do that. Yeah. but I think you can do it. Sometimes you can't just break the rules. That's one, what they're two, for, right? Exactly. Rules are made to be broken. There you go. Lovely. Give it up oh for Jennifer God. Reed, everybody.